ADC, and I apologize for the pun, but we thought we'd liven things up this morning on a Saturday, refers to an antibody drug conjugate, which oh, yeah. I'll be talking about, which is a novel therapy for a particular unmet need in uh, a common population of patients with lymphoma. Oops. These are my disclosures. Why don't you sing your national anthem in the meantime? <laughs> <laughs> Tempting, but. <laughs> so is, uh... oh, the time does not move, my God. But there's time for the national anthem. <laughs> we would have loved to hear the Greek first. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so as many of you might realize, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is a type of aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphoma and it is the most common type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. While this is very curable in a <coughs> large number of patients, despite our best standard upfront therapy, which generally involves immunochemotherapy or RCHOP for many of these patients, about 40% of patients either won't respond to initial therapy or ultimately relapse despite that initial therapy. As a next line th treatment, many of these patients are considered for high dose chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant as a potential next curative attempt. Unfortunately, many patients are not eligible for transplant due to age or comorbidities. And the treatment options for these transplant ineligible patients or patients who relapse after transplant are really limited. Survival is generally quite so short and really the responses to successive therapy actually worsens with multiple relapses. So we certainly do need better treatment options for this group of patients. At this meeting, I'll be presenting a phase two trial exploring the use of a novel agent, polituzumab vidotin. This is a first-in-class anti-CD79B antibody drug conjugate. CD79B is a protein that's present on the surface of many normal B cells and is typically uh, universally expressed on diffuse large B cell lymphoma as well as follicular lymphoma. This antibody drug construct is essentially an antibody targeting CD79B, so it specifically seeks out the tumor target. It's attached to a toxin, and when it attaches to the tumor cell, it actually gets absorbed into the tumor cell and the toxin is selectively released into the tumor. So it's a way of uh, specifically delivering the toxin to the tumor cell while trying to protect the normal body cells. So in this phase two trial that I'll be presenting, uh, it enrolled patients with relapsed refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma and it was a head-to-head -head comparison of polituzumab vidotin in combination with bendamustine and rituximab versus bendamustine and rituximab alone. The primary endpoint of the trial was at the CR rate as determined by PET scanning at the end of treatment, and this was significantly higher in patients receiving the polituzumab vidotin with the BR, so it was 40% versus 15%, and importantly, this translated into a significant improvement in progression-free survival, which was almost tripled with a median progression-free survival of 6.7 months versus two months, and also quite remarkably into an improvement in overall survival, which more than doubled, with the median being 11, over 11 months compared to under five months. So in this randomized phase two trial, it really is the only uh, so far head-to-head -head comparison of a novel targeted agent uh, against the standard therapy in this patient population that's ineligible for stem cell transplant. And it demonstrated that the combination of polituzumab vidotin with BR significantly improved the response rates, progression-free survival, as well as overall survival. And based on these encouraging results, uh, this drug has been granted breakthrough therapy designation, both by the US FDA as well as prime designation by the EMA, and it will be explored further in other combinations and ongoing studies. Thank you.